some foul play going on at this backyard in Aquabog. And this turkey is at the center of it all. I think he thinks he's the leader for sure. <laughs> Virginia Scudder adopted her turkey during the pandemic after seeing a Facebook post about him. He fits right in with her roosters, chickens, and ducks. The family named him after a Disney character, Megamort. He can be a little intimidating when you first see him. Um, my neighbors and my friends, you know, chuckle because, um, you know, they'll come to the yard and he'll, he'll definitely walk the perimeter of the yard and just let it know, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Um, but it's really just, he wants to be friends. Virginia did some research on what her new feathery friend would need to live happily in her yard in terms of food and protection. So we have fresh water every day in order to maintain uh, turkeys and ducks. They have to have fresh water even throughout the winter time. So we have two pools. We fill them up every day and every night we change out the water and having grain and fresh straw out for them to um, stay warm during the evening. Her father also built a pen in her backyard for all the birds to stay in at night. Every Thanksgiving, Humane Long Island rescues turkeys from live slaughter markets and makes them available to foster and adopt on Long Island. For those interested, Virginia has some advice. You need lots of room for turkeys. They need to be able to move around freely and stretch out their feathers, uh, walk around and just be able to enjoy life just like uh, any of us would want to. Nobody wants to be cooped up, no pun intended. Rachel Weiss for Newsday TV.